Now, <clears throat> you know, over you know over periods of time, you and I talking, you know, you know, I figured this out, and maybe a lot of people don't know, but there's really kind of two sides to the realty game. You've got you know your listing, your guy that focuses on listing, guy or gal that focuses on listing, and you've got your, your person, your agent that works more on the customer side of the deal. Sure. Now, obviously, you're catering more to the customer side of the deal on on that retail end of it. Am I right in understanding that? Correct. I, I that's my just my preference. I work with. A lot, a lot more buyers than than listings because I think um, there's a lot more satisfaction, personal satisfaction when I find a home for a, for a buyer than selling a home. They're less attached to their home. Uh, they want to leave their home. They're going somewhere else. So when a when a person finds their home to to purchase and and land their family in, I think that's more personal satisfaction. So I I enjoy working with with buyers, but you know, a, a listing. Um, also helps your business a lot. You meet a lot of people through listings, a lot, of, a lot of new customers that way as well. So let me ask you a question. You know, with the advent of all these new companies and technologies in the marketplace, you know, yep. your, your um, uh, what was the one that you were talking about? Uh, OfferPad. OfferPad. You know, yep. these companies that are coming in and making it pretty seamless, you know, to take possession of these properties, take them off the market yep. without having to go through traditional uh, listing channels. How do you think, how do you see that shaping, you know, that, that industry as far as that goes? I mean, I, I don't want to predict gloom and doom for, for listing agents, but I think once they start um, marketing that they're, they're buying up these homes and, and they're making it easier for you to sell, um, it might be a little harder for, for inventory um, for a listing agent to, to penetrate the market. Um, I think they're, they're buying up homes in Central Florida at a, at a quick rate, and I think it's it's going to hurt the market a little bit as far as a listing agent. Um, the technology, everyone wants to be on apps and, and websites and whatnot, so I think, you know, millennials will be going that route. Um, so you have to adapt and, and, and uh, go a different route. Okay. So now on the retail side, on the seller side of the sure. deal, um, you know, you working, I should say, you working with the buyers, rather, on the buyer side of the deal. You know, what do you forecast or what do you see happening or do you forecast or foresee any change in the near future from that side of the deal? I mean, are we thinking a la cars.com or auto trader? Um, I, I look at it and I think that's, you know, and I hate what it's done to the car business, by the way. I mean, it's made it made it really hard for for someone to make a good living in the cars, car business um, like we used to. Um, but as far as a, from a buyer's perspective, I still think there's definitely a, a reason to talk to a realtor and have a realtor on your side um, from from making offers uh, from you know negotiating from inspections um, and working with title companies and whatnot I think there's a lot of lo a lot of things that can uh, that a buyer could miss um, in their transaction just like a for sale by owner I still think there's a lot of uh, things that a for sale by owner could miss out um, when they're trying to sell their home uh, something they don't do every day where a realtor does this every day so sure. I think there's a lot, a lot of things that people could miss out. Uh, it's, it's nice to shop online, but when it comes to the purchase, you need someone uh, with professional guidance.